Typeform lets you add calculations to questions by assigning a number value to your answers. You can do things like total up prices, score leads, or anything else that requires you to use basic calculations. Let's start with an example. I'm a coffee roaster, and I've created this order form for my customers so that they can have my specialty coffee delivered right to their door. I have three different coffee blends, each with a different price. And here's a tip. If you want to show respondents the price of each product, you can write that into each answer option manually. In the first question, they can choose a coffee blend, and in the second question, they can choose how many bags they'd like. The third question is the payment question, where they will complete their order. So I want to multiply the number of bags they want in question two by the price of the coffee blend of their choosing. This will get added to the price variable, which will charge them in question three. To add calculations to the form, I'll go to workflow and click branching. First, I'll click to add a rule. Here, I'll start by adding the price of each product. I'll say that if they want the light roast, then I will click this dropdown. Under the calculations section, you can see that you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide values in your form. I'll choose add, and then enter a number, which is the price of the light roast. Then I'll make sure it gets added to the price variable. And take note, if you want to use the price variable, you need to have a payment question in your form, which integrates with your Stripe account to accept payments. If you don't have a payment question, you won't see the price variable here as an option, but you will see the score variable. Next, I'll do the same for the other two roasts. Once that's all set, I'll move on to the next question. This is a number question asking for the quantity of coffee bags that customers want to order. I'll set a rule that says, if the number of coffee bags they want is not equal to zero, meaning they want one or more bags of coffee, then I will multiply, and this time I'll choose the price variable by the number they put in question two. So just to recap, in question one, we added values to each product and then added those values to the price variable. So whatever product they chose in question one will be multiplied by the number of bags they want in question two. Now, by the time they get to question three, the payment question, we'll see the total price that they owe for their coffee purchase. Let's save this, publish our form, and see it in action. So in question one, we'll choose the medium roast, which is $18. Then in question two, we want three bags of coffee. Now when we go to the payment question, we'll see the total price here, 18 times three, which is 54. Finally, one last tip. If you're calculating a score and want to show the total to your respondents, or if you want to summarize the price before the payment question, all you have to do is use recall information by hitting the at symbol and choosing the price or score variable from the drop down. It's all adding up with Typeform.